What's up? And welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Look at what we got right here. A one tenth ounce pure gold coin. We're gonna be cutting this thing to pieces and we're gonna see how tiny of a piece of gold, a little fleck of gold, it takes to shatter this iPhone 10 display. We're gonna be using this slingshot right here. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. So here's the coin we're gonna cut. Not the best way of doing this. I hope this works. It's such a giant tool to cut such a tiny coin. Oh, it just sliced right in half. Okay, it's cut into two pieces now. Okay, so we're going for another cut to get an extra small piece. Where'd it go? <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it, where did this appear to? Well, <laughs> holy crap. That thing just went launched somewhere. I heard it bounce off this cabinet. Oh my god, that joke is probably worth 30 bucks. Alright, we're doing the other one then. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe you want to try to brace it in a different way this time? Trying to bend it in round two. This way, hopefully, if it goes flying, it things into the pan. Okay, we're ready. Oh no! <laughs> if you don't know, gold is extremely dense and heavy, but a little bit soft. Obviously, with enough force, anything can penetrate through glass. All right, it's time to find out if this little piece of gold can shatter an iPhone 10 screen. We've got the Phantom filming at 18,000 frames per second with special LED lights so they don't flicker. And we got the iPhone 10 chilling down inside there. Here we go. In. Three, two. Where did it even go? That bounced over there. We are like, not even here. <laughs> Let's see if we can see if it hit or not. Here comes the fleck flying into focus. Kadoosh! Hits the glass, bounces off the screen, bounces off the red fabric, and out of there, I have no freaking clue where that went. We'll have to look for it. Uh, it might end up in the vacuum at some point. I don't know. Now, at 18,000 frames per second, you can see a bullet moving fairly slowly. To be going this fast at 18,000 frames per second means this fleck is really freaking moving. That chunk wasn't big enough to damage it. Let's try a bigger one. Now we're doing half the coin. Should we try it like this? Yeah, let's give it a shot, man. We're gonna give it a shot. This is 1 20th ounce of gold. Let's see if it's big enough to shatter this iPhone 10 screen. Three, two, one. Oh, jeez, <laughs> knocked it over this time. Waiting for that to come into screen. Oh, there it is, and kaboom! And it totally didn't shatter the iPhone 10 screen. Damn, it left an impression. A black impression on the screen though. So the gold fleck didn't make it far this time. It just landed on the table. But check out that iPhone 10. The pixels right where the gold impacted, they're just, they're not even working anymore. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's like exactly how it impacted. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try one more time with the 120th ounce. See if we can get it to shatter. Here we go, shot number three. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I heard that. Somewhere over there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here comes the gold flag. Kabam! Whoa! What? I have to watch that again. It didn't even make sense. It hit to the left of the other impact spot, but it like shattered it worse, like made the screen black blob worse. What in the world? Also, you can see the little gold flecks floating away. Bye bye, money. Here it comes. <laughs> That's weird. That is so strange. It didn't even hit in that spot. <laughs> like the, 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 the initial impact, it just totally expanded in some weird kind of like crater inducing way. I would love to know why that worked that way. I have no idea. That's impressive though. If it's doing that much damage to the internal display, but the glass is still okay, I'm actually really impressed with this glass right now. Yep. Okay, let's check it out. What in the world? It's so weird. What a weird way to break a screen. Like, it didn't even impact right here. It impacted like up here, and this took so much more damage. Okay, so, we only lost one eighth of the gold coin. That was nice. I honestly thought it was gonna do a lot more damage than it did, because this is very dense material. But then again, it's kind of soft, a little bit bendable at those high speeds. Maybe it doesn't quite hit as hard as what steel or iron would. Super interesting result, I think. I did not predict this kind of damage at all. I thought it was either gonna shatter or be completely fine. But with these OLED screens, 
basically we've seen with the iPhone over and over again, it can take damage in a certain small section of the screen and then the whole rest of the screen is working just fine. It's, it's kind of amazing and kind of weird at the same time. Still like 90% functional. You could still browse web pages. I think just watching video with a giant black hole would be weird. That'd probably be the main thing for me or playing games with a giant black hole. But anyway, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time. Brandon out. <laughs>